So yesterday in Vancouver, a Harbor Air de Havilland Beaver seaplane was departing on a sightseeing tour when it collided with a pleasure boat. The incident in question occurred in the charted seaplane area. Recently I was in Vancouver and was able to capture this twin otter taking off in roughly the same spot in the Coal Harbor area. So the question that remains is who's at fault? Certainly online, uh, lots of people are citing the boat to be at fault uh, as they shouldn't be there treating this like a terrestrial runway incursion. But since both the airplane and the boat were on the water, the collision regulations apply. So what do they have to say about this incident? Rule 18 describes the responsibility to between vessels and which vessels have to keep out of the way of which other vessels. In that hierarchy, seaplanes are required to keep out of way of all other vessels. In the case that a risk of collision occurs, then the seaplane is required to follow the rest of the collision avoidance rules within that part. Rule 15 requires vessels to stay out of the way of other vessels approaching from its starboard side. Essentially, if a vessel can see the green light of your vessel, they are good to go. If they're approaching from the red light, they must give way. So if we take a still of the boat and seaplane and overlay the right of way diagram, you'll see that the seaplane is clearly approaching from that red port side give way area. I should also note that the Civil Air Regulations section 602.20 also confirm what Rule 15 says. We also have a report into a previous incident that confirms our interpretation of the rules. Collision between a de Havilland beaver and a water taxi in Tofino Harbor in 2001. Uh, in this incident, the Transportation Safety Board report uh, recognizes that the airplane has a responsibility to give way uh, to the vessel. In this case, both Rule 18 and Rule 15 applied. The other area of contention online seems to be with the chart and how the landing area is marked. On the chart, the seaplane landing area is clearly marked by a dashed line with little seaplane icons, and people are claiming that this is an area restriction. However, if we consult chart number one, restricted areas are denoted by T hashings and a large do not enter sign. We can see this really well on the wind farm depictions where we can see a normal wind farm and a warm wind farm with a restricted area. The Port of Vancouver has a rule which restricts access to this area to pleasure craft, uh, though there isn't a similar rule for commercial vessels. That rule is buried on page 134 of the Port Information Guide. It's unlikely most mariners who are unfamiliar with the waters would be familiar with that publication. The seaplane landing area could also be charted as a restricted space, requiring any vessels that want to transit the area to contact the Air Traffic Control Center and receive permission. In this case, we know that the Air Traffic Controller warn the departing aircraft of the presence of the vessel. It was then left to the discretion of the pilot to take off safely. Based on some online comments I've been seeing, I'm sure there's lots of opinions about what I've presented here. If you have a differing view, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.